What are the best budget weapons in Escape from Tarkov 12.9? In this video I am going to show you my top 10 budget firearms in EFT. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and in this video I am going to show you my top 10 budget weapons in Escape from Tarkov in 2021 or patch 12.9. So what you should do right now as always, grab a beer or two or anything else to drink and let's start with the top 10 list. I want to start with my bonus tip for you, grab the 5.7. The 5.7 is in my opinion the best pistol in the game right now. It's very reliable, you have some decent ammunition, it's not that expensive. The iron sights are very decent, I like them a lot. You can land some very precise shots with the 5.7. The shrimp is also very very good, but the 5.7 feels a little bit more reliable and that's why I like the 5.7 a lot. But as I said the shrimp is also very very good. But let's start with the top 10 list for budget weapons in Escape from Tarkov. Number 10 is the MP15. Three, a semi-automatic shotgun in Escape from Tarkov no. and I like it. If you can buy AP slugs from Jäger or some slugs from the flea market, the MP153 is really worth to play. It is simple to use, you don't have to modify that much, you can add some suppressor, you can add some muzzle devices, you can add some scopes, you can change the stock. It's great in my opinion, it's very cheap, you just have to buy the right ammunition, you can use AP slugs as I said let chat or rip if you want to lag meta your opponent. On number 9 I have the RFB. In my opinion the RFB is very very Sorry. underrated. It is way better compared to the weapon hunter. You can add some muzzle devices, suppressor, you can add tag lights, grips, different scopes. The RFB is great. You have 20 round max out of the box and you can add 30 round max if you want and if you have the money. So in my opinion the best budget 762 by 51 weapon in Escape from Tarkov right now is the RFB. If you compare the RFB with the Vapor Hunter, in my opinion the Vapor Hunter is horrible. I'm playing it right now for a video. It's not as good as it's supposed to be. You can use it for killer of course, but compare the Vapor Hunter to the RFB, the RFB is way 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 better. I really recommend try the RFB if you like the Vapor Hunter. I tried the Vapor Hunter recently a lot and I'm not good with the Vapor Hunter. Grab the RFB and you will be more satisfied in my opinion. On number 8 we have the SKS. In my opinion the SKS is also a bit underrated. You can get a lot of BP ammunition from Battlestate games as a gift and BP ammunition 762 by 39 BP is very very good in Escape from Tarkov right now. It is underrated in my opinion as I said. Even some decent or fully modded SKS builds are right now not so expensive. That's why it's worth a try. We have the 556 by 45 Desert Tech MDR on number 7. In my opinion, it's especially early or mid wipe, a very decent gun. You don't have to modify it that much, you can add muzzle devices, lights, or grips, of course, and you are good to go. You can shoot some decent ammunition, and it's also pretty cheap to run this gun very effectively, and that's why the MDR is on number 7. And on number 6 we have the VSS. Right now the VSS is also very underrated, even with SP5 or SP6, the VSS is pretty pretty good. Your time to kill is very low with the right ammunition and it's not so expensive to play the VSS correctly. You can buy the 30 round mech from a prepper barter. If you have prepper level 3 you just need pliers to get one 30 round magazine for the VSS or for the well, so you should use this barter. And I like the VSS a lot because it's very silent and it's just a decent weapon in my opinion. Let's continue with the top 5. Number 5 is the PP-19. The PP-19 is a very very solid solution, especially early wipe or during your first levels in Escape from Tarkov. It's very easy to play, low recoil, very budget, very simple to play. You don't have to modify that much and the PP-19 is great. From level 1 you can run the PP-19, in my opinion one of the best solutions early on. That's why the PP-19 is on number 5 because you have a little bit issues in terms of fire rate and of course you need some decent ammunition to compete with some chats right now. But the PP-19 is great early on as I said. Let's continue with number 4 and number 4 is the RPK. In my opinion it's the best solution if you want to play 545 by 39 in Escape from Tarkov right now with some 60 round mech Igolnik or BS. This thing is still a meta weapon but even BT ammunition is not that bad and it's horrible cheap and you can run the RPK 
in some decent variations, short barrel or in a long barrel version, you don't have that much recoil, it's very good to control. The stats from the RPK doesn't look that good, but if you're actually playing the RPK, it feels great. So that's why it's on number 4, because it's right now very cheap, you don't need that much grip, some muzzle device, scope and you are good to go. Of course use some tactical lights and the RPK is still a chat shredder because Igolnik and BS are still very good types of ammunition in Escape from Tarkov right now. Number 3 is the MP7, especially the MP7A1. Because if you want to run the MP7A1 you don't need that much suppressor scope and you're good to go. One downside is that you have to have mechanic level 4 to buy the 40 round magazines. The best ammunition is a bit expensive but FMJ is still a very solid ammunition for the MP7 and it's not so expensive to run the MP7A1 with FMJ and some 30 round mag, you still have a very decent MP, low recoil with very good stats. In my opinion, the MP7 is together with the Vector the best SMG in Escape from Tarkov right now. Maybe you are surprised from my number two, but number two is the MPX. The MPX is, in my opinion, the most underrated weapon in Escape from Tarkov right now because it's better compared to the MP5 in every way. The MPX right now has a very big potential. I made a video about the MPX early on to show you that the MPX is great. You don't have to play the Vector all the time because the MPX is a budget and very solid, very decent opportunity to play something else. I like the integrated suppressor with the MPX, but you can still run a long barrel version if you want. It's very budget to play the MPX or the MPX SD. You don't have to modify that much and that's why it's my number two because the MPX is so underrated and so good in Tarkov right now. I would say my number one is not a big surprise for you if you are following my channel. My number one is the MP5. The reason for that is quite simple. You can get the MP5 early on in different variations. The MP5 has a decent fire rate, very low recoil, good ergonomics. You can run some level 4 armor, Kiver helm and face shield MP5K and run straight into dorms and you can have success. And that's why I like the MP5 a lot, especially if you are running the MP5 SD, very quiet, very low recoil and you don't have to modify that much. So this is my top 10 list for budget weapons in Escape from Tarkov 12.9 in 2021. What do you think about it? Write a comment into the comment section below and as always your support is awesome. Don't forget to like this video to show the world we Germans can win these something and if it's your like on YouTube I would really appreciate it. Let's jump to the next video.